Testing, testing, one, two, three, my test, my test, one, two, three. Okay, we will just start in a few minutes. I'm sorry, uh, late ang ating live webinar today. Dapat ay like start tayo ng 9 p.m. Pero for uh, technical difficulties, medyo na late lang tayo. And I'm sorry for that. And just wait. And as, as I promise, I will share to you uh, how I earn passive income through mutual fund. And we'll just wait for uh, for our attendees for today. Sensya na, medyo na late lang tayo at medyo late na rin tayo nagsimula. Especially sa ating mga attendees. I hope na pag-attend pa rin kayo. And Jane Gatos or Mandia, thank you for watching. Wait lang tayo na other uh, sa mga nakapag-attend and napapanood to, please like, like and share this video. Okay, so let's start. Before that, para sa mga hindi pa nakakilala sa akin, my name is Owen Isla. I'm 17 years working in the banking industry. And also, I'm also a sub-distributor of Framper Financials. And also, and I'm also a real estate marketing executive. Okay? So what you can expect from this webinar? How to earn passive income through mutual fund. And also, disclaimer lang, I'm not a certified financial advisor yet. So, lahat ng mapapanood ninyo or aking masishare, I, you need to have first, uh, what to call that? Financial advice or financial advisor to start in any investment. Okay. Say, let's start. But before that, alamin muna natin kung ano ang three financial stages in life. Ang first stage of financial life is man at work. Ano ba tong man at work? So, kailangan munang magbanat ng buto para kumita ng pera. Pwede siyang tinatawag na hard labor or office work. So, people who are working from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. or day job, or 8 p.m. to 5 a.m. or tinatawag na immortals, yan ay tinatawag na man at work. At tinatawag din siya na Active Income Earners. So, ano, ano ba tong Active Income Earners? Tulad nating mga nagtatrabaho, kailangan ng salary. Doctors, kailangan ng patient. Lawyers, kailangan syempre na ng kliyente. OFW, kailangan ng kontrata para makapagtrabaho sa ibang bansa. Seafarers, also Kailangan ng contract para makatapak sa barko. 
and agent. Kailangan ng commission. So, kung walang, kom walang benta, walang commission. Ganun rin yun. So, ang active income earners ay ang income na kinukuha mo sa direct labor. So, kung ikaw ay tupikil o hindi ka nakapagtrabaho, ang income mo ay titigil din. Ano naman tong second stage in financial life? Man and money at work. So, ano yung man? Kanina, sabi natin man at work. So, while you are working, you are also planning to make a semi-passive income. So, on this stage, you are already on the second level. So, man and money at work. Ano to? So, at this stage, nag-isip ka na para sa iyong future. So, anong semi-passive income na babakay sa iyo para meron tayong extra passive income for the future. So, ano ba itong semi-passive income na ito? So, invest in real estate. So, investing in stocks. Invest in mutual funds. So, invest in UITF. So, while you are young, you should also hard, you work hard and reach your goal to our next level of financial life. So, and the third stage in financial life, ang tinatawag na money at work. So, ano yung money at, money at work? Ay tinatawag din na passive income. So, ano ba itong passive income? At kailangan nating malaman ang passive income. So, itong passive income ay tinatawag ng mga rental income. So, income income na kukuha mo sa monthly or daily na kukuha mo sa pagre-renta mo ng bahay. And also, interest income from investment. So, ano ba itong mga uh, tulad ng mutual fund, stocks, bonds, or UITF. And also, may tinatawag rin na royalty income from business. Katulad ng mga franchising, na katulad ng mga McDonald's, na meron silang royalty income sa business. So, ngayon, nalaman ninyo kung ano yung mga three stages of financial life. Tinatawag na tinatawag rin na active income, passive and also passive income. So, ano to? Ito itong nasa harapan natin. So, ito si Rex Mendoza. So, uh, isa siya sa mga aking idol. And also, sabi niya sa book niyang Firing on All Cylinders, katulad ng, ng motor or sasakyan, na meron siya mga uh, katulad ng sports car na 12 cylinders yata. So, sabi niya, ang... Um, at least, we should have at least 7 passive income. So, hindi lang isa, dalawa, kundi 7, at least 7 passive income sa panahon ngayon. Tulad ng, ano nga, uh, silindador na sasakyan. Dapat, ba, sa bawat silindador, meron tayong lumalabas na income. Okay. So, ito. Siyempre, meron book signing. Pasign ako at si... Sir Rex Mendoza, so hindi ko siya promote pero I'm just sharing about his, what you call, passive income or 7 passive income. So ngayon, let's start uh, how I earned passive income through mutual fund. And again, thank you for watching Shane, Fidel, and Victor Manuel Velez. Danica Boncales, thank you for attending my live webinar today. Okay, so let's start. So, bakit nga ba tayo nag invest So, una, to achieve our financial goals. So, kung meron tayong pangarap, katulad ng future, mga goals natin, bumili ng bahay, ang sariling bagong kotse, and also, for your retirement, 
and also to beat inflation sa panahon ngayon ang ano natin ay ang inflation rate na natin is nasa 6.5 so kung nag-invest ka sa interest rate na kumikita lang ng 1% per ano so big sabihin medyo talo ka pa okay so where to put in in your money samba sabi nga sa sa mga bank products ba sa business stocks and bonds and now we are sharing about mutual funds investing in mutual funds so what are mutual funds ano nga ba ang mutual funds sabi investment company investing reinvesting and trading of securities that pull the money of investors with the same investment objective to achieve better returns. So how did how does it works? So dito ito sa ano na to? So tayo mga investors. So iniipon lang ang ating pera, it pulls our money together and then si mutual fund company naman dahil meron siyang buying power, malakas sa kanyang buying power. So, ini-invest nito ni fund manager. Ini-invest niya ito sa mga stocks, bonds, or other securities. Then, successful investment at value to the fund. And, investors receive distribution of shares, number of shares, and income na return of investment. So, sa mutual fund structure, makikita natin. Mutual fund shareholders, so ano ba yun? Tayo yun, mga mutual fund shareholders. And, baba niya is a fund, fund board of directors. And under that, is investment advisor, fund administrator, principal distributor, custodian, and external audit. So, ano naman ang types of mutual fund? So, ano nga ba yung mga types of mutual funds? So, May bond fund. Ano yung bond fund or which is fixed income instrument? Stability plus reasonable growth. So average earning niya per year is 6%. Money market fund. Short term fixed income instrument. Stability plus minimal growth. At this average earning is 2%. So stock fund or tinatawag na equity fund. Shares of stocks. or Objective is long term capital growth. Average earning per year is 18% and above. And also, may tinatawag tayong balance fund, which is stocks and uh, fixed income. So, medium to long term for moderate investors. Average earning niya per year is 12%. Mark Jaben Verray, thank you for attending our live webinar. And reward spectrum, An ano ibig sabihin nito? If you are risk return, if you are if you are investing bond fund, so syempre expect to a low, low risk. If you are investing in stock fund, also you should have you have a high risk but expect a high return of investment. So, ano ang benefits ng mutual fund? So, high potential earnings, average yield of 6% to 18% per annum. So, affordability, napakamura lang niya. You can start a minimum initial investment sa lagang 5,000 lang. And also, minimum additional amount is 1,000. So, you can start na maglagay-lagay ng 1,000 monthly. And also, professional fund manager. Inamanage siyempre ito ng magagaling na fund manager at sila ang nag invest sa ating pera. And also, this is a tax exemption based on Republic Act 8424. So, wala pa siyang sa ngayon, hindi pa tax exempted pa siya. And also, liquidity. Investors may redeem, withdraw their shares at any working day. So, kung plano mo nang i-withdraw ang iyong investment, every banking day, can withdraw it anytime. So, safety, mutual fund company are highly regulated by SEC 
and audited regularly by external auditors. And also diversification. You cannot invest more than 10% in any security other than government. So it's also diversified yung pera mo dahil naka-invest siya in but ibang blue chip company. So Sampion Mutual Fund Portfolio Allocation. So makikita natin dito sa top 10 holdings niya. So makikita mo si SM Investment Corporation, Philippine Long Distance, Ayala Land, Universal, Robina, BDO, Ayala, SM Prime Holdings, JG Summit, Metropolitan Bank, and Manila Electric Company. So, makikita nyo na dito nag invest sa top 10 holdings. So, ano ba ang kailangan natin? So, ano yung financial planning? Managing, managing one's financial resources in order to achieve specific financial goals. So, ano ba yung financial goals? Or, siyempre, set goals. Kung ano ba ang ating Goal for short term ba, medium term, or long term. So, analyze your resources. Kung meron ba tayong pang investment for ating mutual fund. And evaluate investment option. And implement the plan. And evaluate the plan. So, acronym to remember. Hero, Horizon, kung gaano katagal. E-experience. Are risk appetite or tolerance kung ikaw ba ay aggressive or conservative. And also objective. Kung ano ba ang objective mo para sa iyong investment. So ating recommendation kung ikaw nag-invest ng mutual fund. So for short term, recommendation is bond fund. For Medium term, balance fund, and also for long term, is recommendation, is stock fund. So, sa time frame naman ito, makikita nyo, 1 to 3 years, recommendation, mag-invest sa bond fund. 3 to 5 years, recommendation, is the balance funds. And 5 years and beyond, recommendation, is stock fund. So, kung ikaw ay plano mong investment mo ng mutual fund, is for your retirement. You should go or recommend, we recommended about stock fund. And also, risk tolerance. So, conservative ka ba? For recommendation is bond fund. For moderate, balance fund. And for aggressive or risk taker, na katulad ko, na matapang, we also recommend stock fund. So, ano naman tong RSA or Ramper Strategic Advisor or Ramper Strategic Finan uh, Ramper Strategic Financial or it's a division okay, RSA is a division of Ramper Inc. that promotes financial responsibility security and focus to gain affluence it is a financial intermediary engaged in risk management money and asset Management Advisory, Training and Consulting in Product and Services Trading. So, ano ba yun? Ang The Mutual Fund Brands Principles we carry or uh, carry ni Rampver Financials is ang Soldibo Fund, Pilam Asset Managed Fund, Pil Equity First Metro Asset Management, ATR Kim Eng, and also Sunlight. So, ano yung mga mutual fund? So, for Soldibo, meron silang dalawang fund, which is Soldibo Bank Fund and Soldibo Strategic Growth Fund. So, for PILAM, so marami silang type of fund, money market, bank fund, balance fund, and stock fund. So, meron siyang PILAM Managed Income, PILAM Bank Fund, PILAM Dollar, and PILAM Strategic Growth Fund for Stock Fund. Okay, Sir Edgar Deliguero, thank you for attending my live webinar. For PIL Equity Management, Inc. naman, meron silang 
Five fund, which is meron silang bond fund and stock fund. For first asset management, meron silang bond fund, balance fund, and stock fund. For ATR Kim Eng, meron silang bond fund, balance fund, and stock fund. So for the bond fund, meron silang ATR Kim Eng, bond fund, and for the stock fund, meron silang ATR Kim Kim Eng Equity Opportunity Fund, Alpha Opportunity Fund, and ATR Kim Eng Asia Plus Recovery Fund. So, ang payment option nito for Soldibo, payable sa check payable fund or payable sa BPI over the counter, si PILAM naman, pwede siya check payable to fund, and BPI online payments, for PIL equity, checks payable to the fund, and also deposit to BDO, East West, RCBC, and Union Bank. Meron rin silang online, on, online payment. So, si FAMI, Metro Bank, Union Bank, PILS payment, and for si ATM King Eng, payable to cash, to be submitted to Amber Financials. So, reminders para sa mga payment. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin. Signature card, investment application, account opening form, copies of two valid IDs for documentation naman, confirmation receipt, and statement of account. So, monitoring, access online for investment certification, request for Visa application, pill up FAMI. So, may fee and for redemption. So, meron siyang redemption proceed shall be available in 7 working days from principal processing day. Okay, so that's how mutual fund work. So, question, Sir Owen, sabi mo, how I earn passive income? So, paano nga ako nag-earn ng passive income sa mutual fund? For example, I started investing in mutual fund at ang unang mutual fund na pinag-investan ko ay ang PIL Equity Fund. So, so sa, noong 2010, doon ako nagsimula na mag-invest. So, noong January 2010, ang NABS per share niya or tinatawag na net asset value per share is 12 pesos pa lang. And, at ng, after 8 years, ang dollar per share niya ng January 3, 2018 is 41 pesos and 74 centavos. So, noong January 10, I started investing sa mutual fund. So, dollar per share niya nga is 12 pesos, 12.90. For example na lang, mag-invest ka ng 50,000 pesos. So, I-divide mo lang sa 12.90. So, number of shares mo is 3,875.96. Or, ito yung tinatawag mo na share na nabili mo. Ito yung nabili mong shares nung nag-invest ka. Kung nag-invest ka. So, nung nag-invest ako ng 2010, so, 12 pesos pa lang ang nabili mong share. And then, noong January 2018 na, ang NABS per share na niya ay kumita na, which is tumaas. So, ang net asset value per share niya noong January 2018 is 41 pesos and 74 centavos. So, yung number of shares mo, which is 3,875.96, the times mo lang sa 41 0.74 or yung kung ano yung NABS per share niya noong January 3, 2018. So, ang current market value niya noong panahon na yun is 161,782.94. So, yun ang current market value ng pera mo. So, yung current market value mo, ililess mo lang sa total investment mo which is yung 50,000 so, yung 161,784.94 minus 50,000. So, ang capital gains mo or kinita mo is 
1,782.94. So, ang return of investment mo, or ROI, ROI na tinatawag, so, ang earnings mo is 223.56%. So, yun nga. So, ang capital gains mo is 223.56%. So, that's how I earned in, how I earned passive income in mutual fund. So, if you are started early, this panahon pa lang na, no? Mura pa lang siya. And then after 8 years, also in investing in equity fund. So, pagtagal, kahit patas baba siya, market niya, pero ang goal pa rin niya is pataas. So that's how I earn passive income through mutual fund investment. So that ends my presentation or live webinar for today. So thank you for watching everyone. And again, meron nga pala akong free ebook sa mga hindi pa alam or about mutual fund. So meron tayong free ebook so, meron tayong i-book na 5 easy steps how to invest in mutual funds in the Philippines. You can get it for free. Just comment in, in the comment box below na Yes, I want my free ebook, Sir Owen. Okay, so thank you everyone for watching and attending my live webinar for today. And see you for another webinar next month and promise to share again my other source of passive income. Thank you and have a great day everyone.